league winners, you must be delighted. Over the moon, fantastic. Lads deserve it. They've worked really hard over the season. Um, and, you know, you get out what you put in and the boys over the years, over the season, sorry, with the training, you know, they deserve that. But another clean sheet, uh, you know, and to win the league unbeaten in a top tier football is, is, a, is a tough one. But the lads have answered all the questions and over the moon. Delighted for them. To be pleased myself, but, um, you know, and, and everyone, all our staff involved. But delighted, really, really happy. Do you think the full-time programme has played a huge success in the in the in the campaign? Greatly. Well, you know, you, you can't treat anything really in any walk of life or any business. You get out what you put in, and so uh, the early morning training sessions, uh, Lee Candle coming in, huge, you know, huge appointment by the university, and I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Martin Stegall and Linda Evans for their support through the faculty to bring him in. Huge statement to go full-time, and then the lads then have to step up to the plate and, and be part of it. Obviously, I'm. Um, I'm trying to coordinate things and manage things and oversee things the best I can, but the, but Lee and, and all our staff and our interns and, and the players have really stepped up. So, no, obviously, it's, you know, you, 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 you take out what you put in and, and that's just a rule today, winning the league, unbeaten, fantastic. And unbeaten, you only need a point today to secure the title, but it's great to get a clean sheet and another three points on the board. Uh, for sure, we spoke about that when our, our pre-meeting yesterday, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, it's about winning the game. You know, we, wanna, we can't focus on trying to hold out for a draw. We know it's a tough. Bath is a fantastic institution. Che uh, and his lads are fantastic. Played some good football, but uh, we, we focus on trying to win the game um, and our game plan. And our lads execute the game plan fantastically well. And you know, one nil win, clean sheet, unbeaten, fantastic. Now attention's turned to the cup. Yeah, look forward to it. It's nice to bring North and South leagues together. Uh, different dynamic, different challenge. You know, it's um, but winning the league was important to, to get a buy in the last 16 and go home in the quarters and hopefully we do well. It's going to be tough, um, you know, but a different dynamic. The league's done. We've parked that now and we focus on the cup. Look forward to the welcome wherever we face. Can I just ask you on the sports journalism students, how much of a, how much coverage have they and how, how pleased are you with the contribution they've given to the team this season? Superb, fantastic social media coverage, you know, post-match interviews, pre-games, pre-match, uh, kind of looking at what we're doing. Really, really helpful. And for me, it's really important to show that it's not about 11 players kicking a ball on a footy pitch. There's a lot that goes off the pitch as well and, and, and the support right around it to show that USWR are supporting you know, football. But no, we thank you for your support and Julie's programme and Ian as well and, and, and your guys' support has been excellent and uh, helps raise the profile of USW football, which is what I'm passionate about and I want to put us on the map and let people know that we're trying to do things for the right reasons and it's a full student programme and not just kicking the ball around. That's quite the easy thing. The boys have got the easy job. We've got a tough one of trying to, trying to promote it and trying to do things right. But So no thanks for their sports journalism support as well. You know, it's good.